Hi, everyone. Um, Dr. Murphy. Um, I wanted to introduce our guest artist today. Um, I first met Lika in 2017. I was on a vacation in Portugal, in Lisbon, Portugal. And I uh, went to a nearby sort of beach town for, for the weekend. And wherever I go, I always try and find live music. That's what I seek. <laughs> and I'm walking around this beautiful old town, and I hear a blues band over there. And then I see this poster, you know, billboard advertising this artist performing tonight at this club at 9 o'clock. I made a mental note, went back there, and I walked in. The place was packed, and I was immediately taken by uh, her arrangements, her energy. Uh, it was just, it was just, it was amazing. And I wound up talking to her on the break, as musicians always do. And I said, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I studied music. I went to Berkeley College of Music. I think that was my ticket. I think she was like, because anyone can come up and say, oh, you play guitar, sure. You know, like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I said, oh, yeah, I graduated from Berkeley College of Music. I have a doctorate in music. And she was like, oh, oh, OK. Well, you, you, can, you, you can play. So I wound up, you know, could you come in and play on the first song. So I played the first song. And then the rest of the set, she said, you stay on guitar. We're going to play the rest of the night together. <laughs> So, uh, so that was a lot of fun. So that was 2017, and we just stayed in contact on social media. And, and uh, I, I really thought it would be really cool to bring her over, because she's only a few years older than you guys. Um, um, and I thought, hmm, how cool would it be for, for our students to see someone who's just recent, you know, somewhat recently graduated and out there in the professional world and doing it, and super talented. So 2018 was the first time I brought her over. Uh, then I brought her again in 2019. She comes for a whole week. And each year, it's kind of expanded. First, it was like mostly my classes. Now, every music faculty member has had her, uh, in, her in their classes. She's done the music theory class for Dr. Roberson. Uh, tom tomorrow, she's doing a live stream for Dr. Liu's uh, music and history class. Today, she did uh, Craig's, uh, Craig Bickle's um, audio, design. audio design and recording. And after this, she's going to do the guitar class. Uh, Steve Marsh's Beatles classes. We're doing a live stream for the three Beatles classes. So I'm working hard. Um, <laughs> uh, so she's, she's visited about 10 of our classes. She gave two of my students private lessons. She's done two gigs this week. It's been a whirlwind. Um, but I, I want to introduce you guys to her. Finally, I was able to bring her back after the pandemic, after all this time. So it's been four years since she's been back here. Uh, but she's she's having a great time. Can we give a warm Channel Islands welcome to Lika? Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Um, well, Paul told you about all the, these classes that I'm doing during this one week. And um, if you're surprised, why is that so many classes, really? I'm a musician. I'm a really a guitar player. Why I'm doing audio recording class, why I'm uh, doing this class, why I'm doing all other classes. Well, because in reality of today's world, any musician, any artist should know how to work in different areas. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And this is cool because I know that you're not only musicians here, right? Uh, so can here. you just tell me a little bit about yeah. you? Yeah, why don't we go around the room? And Val's yeah. way over there. <laughs> oh, oh, are you are you ill? Yeah, I am. I, you're sick. Why are you so so far from everybody? Oh no, I just uh, I normally sing on this video. All right, all right. Yeah. What's your name? Val. Val. Well, what what do you study? Uh, performing arts. Performing arts. All right. Okay. Okay. And and you? Wow. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Patty. Uh, I was a part of the program at the Dance Emphasis, but I will be the first person graduating with the Dance Studies specific degree. Congratulations with that. <laughs> Great. So, Hoon, uh, he's a great guitar player. He studies with Paul. We just had a class. Very good. Okay. I'm Rebecca. I'm a performing arts music emphasis student and vocalist and cellist. Wow. Colic. Sorry? And you said the guitar as well. All right, cool. So yes, we are all here from the different areas. But actually, any art, anything, we have uh, a message. 
art creates from there if you have a message and you want to deliver it and it, I think about it when I write a, a music I only write a music when I have something to say if I have nothing there is no reason to try to do something so when we are talking about writing a song or creating a dance or doing a theater uh, that's only one part, so it's professional part, right? Like we study for that, we learning it. But then we come to the part when we want to deliver it, and here goes the process um, that needs even sometimes more time than practicing guitar or cello or whatever, because that takes time, that takes some skills, but everything is workable actually. I'll say it's like my best friend, she says, if you, if you do something, something will happen. Mm -hmm. So you just do something and you go there. <laughs> uh, so from the things that I do normally, from when I wrote, just wrote the song, what I do first. When I was younger and I used to write like every day a new song, uh, I used to do it, and the next day, it was not my Instagram, it was on my YouTube channel, it was everywhere, like, guys, I just wrote a new song! <laughs> but then, I think they said, well, when I met some people from the uh, musical in the, uh, industry, it's like, don't do that! Uh, you, you didn't, uh, you don't have your, uh, you didn't uh, save your rights for this music, right. yeah? yeah? So this is the first thing. The second thing, it's just, uh, uh, it will be unvaluated because it's not ready. It's not ready. It's not the product yet. You have to do an arrangement. You have to rehearse it. Maybe you can change something. Maybe you take um, something out. Maybe you put something else. So everything is time. Just think about it. The first thing I, I do when I wrote a music or did something that I want to perform, uh, I let it to other day, like <laughs> this is done, but let me think about it later. I'll do some other stuff, but let me think about it. Then I come back and uh, I go to my like, arrangements or to my like special programs when I write music. So this is the part when I uh, work alone. Then I work with my band after a while. So we start to rehearse all uh, all this process part. Then this song goes to a studio. Uh, when we went to a studio, there, there's a big part of like everybody has to learn their parts, of course. We have to rent the studio. We have to, after we recorded it, we have to mix the, the track. Then we have to master the track as we did uh, three years ago with my first album. We recorded it there in Portugal because uh, my band is from there, I'm living there. So uh, we uh, recorded the whole album there, but then we did mixing and mastering here in LA and it was great. We did it in uh, LAFX studio and Golden Mastering studio. They were per absolutely good for us. So after this part, okay, we have a product. And now it starts the thing, uh, how do we sell this product? How do we deliver this product? Because of course, besides that, uh, this part, that I'm an artist, I just want everybody to hear my song, but uh, I want everybody to pay me for my song as well. <laughs> uh, so here comes this kind of, for me, it's a bit boring part, but then when it comes to the like more interactions, it's not that boring. Uh, what what are the social media that that you use, guys? Instagram. Instagram all right. Well, what else? TikTok. TikTok. What else? Was there? All oh. oh, 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 yeah, what? Just ignore the sass. <laughs> Anything else? YouTube, perfect, yeah. Anything else? You are too young for Facebook? <laughs> yeah, I use Facebook. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, how you can communicate with your fans, with your maybe followers, maybe. Can we use it? Can we use email? Yeah. 
Uh, so these are channels through what we can work with it. When I, uh, I'm thinking about like ages, who uses the, the social media, exactly, that's, that's it. Facebook, we use like uh, 30 or 35, mm -hmm. yeah? Instagram is the first thing that comes to our head today. Then goes TikTok, which is like more, it's even younger, it's like maybe 15-ish. 12, yeah. YouTube, YouTube, I love YouTube. And website, we forgot about websites. Uh, I love YouTube because this is actual work. You can uh, monetize everything you do there. And this is so cool because uh, you actually see the reaction and YouTube works with, with its um, algorithms exactly but sometimes if you are if if your video is is not good enough just quality it probably won't go there so you have to think about many things many things about quality of the video about length of uh, of the video about how many people will like your video in the first 24 hours uh, all that things Facebook the same thing as uh, Instagram, I love it, it works. And for me, in terms of uh, buying stuff, Facebook used to work even better because people in Instagram and uh, kind of TikTok stuff, they, they are younger. They just want to, to do, to stream, no, to, scroll. to yeah. scroll, just to, uh, not buying your CDs, not buying your products. People in Facebook, this is a older generation. So there, they want to really have something physical. Okay, I like your music, so I want to do a contribution to your work. And probably many of them, they could just listen to my music in, on Spotify, but as a, a gest gestion, gesture of respect mm -hmm. they would buy my special edition or vinyl or uh, some of my merch uh, speaking of it I'm gonna share with you my site so I don't know why here in this um, in what we, we are on Google Chrome uh, it doesn't uh, show up like a yeah, website version. It's like a phone version oh, so now. Bigger. I wonder if you make the window bigger, if it might click in. Oh, cool. Uh, it's just that it was too small, so it was going to the defaulting to the mobile. Okay. Well, let's just make this. Alright, <laughs> so, yeah. so this is my side when you open it, and then, so here you have home, here you have my biography, all the lyrics of my songs, uh, contacts, uh, this is for, for my fans so they can watch like some videos that we did during making the, um, the album, and some videos of my special edition, so this is like fun. Uh, then uh, my academy that I'll tell uh, I'll tell about this later. Then you have like videos that I want to uh, everybody to see first. Like this video clip uh, had some success in YouTube, and it's in uh, like in the biggest radius of Portugal in, in their normal usual playlist. So this this song kind of had a good success.
then I have a link here to my online shop. And when we go to my online shop, I have here all, uh, yeah, that's it in English. Uh, all the products I have. So this is my last edition because these are my uh, picks for playing guitar in the special boxes. It's written my name. Uh, here is vinyl special edition because it's uh, ah no this one is special edition because it's a big bundle with all all my merch inside. Uh, this is special edition of CD because it's wooden um, box. These are my private classes. I, I do online classes for people from all around the world. I have students from Brazil, I have students from Russia, I have students from Kazakhstan, I have students from Portugal, obviously. So uh, this site made my life really much easier because uh, through this site uh, you have a bridge to every everything I'm doing. And, and then they just go here, click, and this is like template that I made from another site and everybody can make it like it's very simple and it costs me like maybe 15 bucks per month and then you do your own template you do your biography there you do uh, all your contacts you put pictures that that you want them to see you put videos that you want them to see all this that you want them to hear so it's not just for them go randomly to your Instagram and see your like, last post and like I don't really like this way because sometimes I put some uh, not very uh, professional things in my Instagram like I can put something like that I just uh, made uh, whatever nothing very serious so but website is a professional way of being so if you want to have this more professional image just I really suggest you to have your own site and then to have this kind of uh, online shop when you can teach when you can um, maybe if you have your merch maybe if you do your record maybe if you want to uh, sell like your single you do just a single but you do uh, maybe someone wants to contribute for that you do that uh, speaking of Instagram, we go to my Instagram. So I have here some. So this is my booking agency. If you click there, you can um, book my concert. Here's a link to all other links that I want them to see. Yeah. So you click here, and you can listen to my album in any digital platform. Which platform do you use, guys? Spotify and? Apple Music. Apple Music, alright. Anything else? No. Yeah, these are these two are the most popular. I know. Like there is also Amazon store, uh, YouTube music, something else, but yeah, it doesn't really bring me anything this year's. Pandora. 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 <laughs> yeah, some, but yeah, it doesn't work for me. Well, so <laughs> this is this is what happens. Uh, I did this concert with my students. Uh, uh, oh no! Because we are not logging in, yeah. so we cannot see the post. So this is me in my studio. This uh, me with my band. And me with my band. Me with my vocal teacher. What's, yeah, this, what's the Santa Claus one? What's that about? Yeah, I <laughs> love this. I created this. Ah, oh, this is another thing to talk about. The the. Uh, uh, how do you call it? The uh, intellectual, the virtual intellectual intellect. Intellectual right. A virtual no. Uh, the last thing uh, that was created, this virtual intellect. Virtual oh, um, artificial yeah. intelligence. Ar yeah, thank you. Artificial intelligence. This image I created of the Santa Claus. I created through this uh, virtual through chat. artificial. Yeah, or chat right. G GPT. Yeah. yeah. So I want a Santa Claus with uh, electric guitar, uh, and it helps a lot because sometimes I need to, uh, like, some image 
to to send to my students, for example, uh, some like create me a uh, a, a music sheet sheet. Uh, sheet. So <laughs> sorry for that. By the way, she speaks uh, four languages, including English. Sometimes I'm so confused. Uh, so it, it really helps sometimes. Uh, Instagram helps very much. Yeah, it's also the like a visit card in in today's business in, card, like a business card. Yeah, mm -hmm. nowadays. Uh, my Facebook is. Ah, it's not here, right? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's how I got in touch with her. See if she wanted to write the Facebook Messenger. Hey, do you want to come over to, uh, to the university? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, no, this is some other legal world. Oh. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> uh, so, this is my YouTube channel. Uh, again, you put here whatever you want them to see first, right? And then you have your your playlists, everything. And YouTube monetizing, you only can turn on after 40,000 hours uh, during the year. If somebody was watching your videos during 40,000 hours during the year, you start, it's like it's your first zero. From there, you go up. Uh, do you have any questions? Like, I'm very open for any kind of questions. Yes? Um, when you get money from YouTube, does it go through Portugal's tax system? Yeah, so always. You have to pay for an LLC? What is LLC? Like a personal business, like when we a do corporation. It, Ah, no, no, I don't think so. I just received this money and then uh, because it goes to my bank account, uh, I just pay uh, a percentage for, for the government. So they don't ask me uh, why do I have this money. I just pay for, for any, any kind of income I have. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And the same thing with Spotify. Like uh, every time I got money, I have to pay. Uh, or every time I got money from Apple Music, all, all these kind of uh, things. Uh, actually, I have a, a special a digital uh, distributors company. So I pay only to this digital distribution, and they distribute it in all stores, uh, all Spotify, Apple, etc. Et so uh, when we talk about delivering else <laughs> what are the people who can be involved besides you who we need in our team what do you think An agent agent oh yeah this is a very helpful person that we might need because you as a as a performer as a musician as an artist you cannot dedicate so much time in sending emails and like in every 100 emails i maybe receive five response but then uh from these five like two or three could work uh so these are what i'm looking for but uh to spend the whole day sending good well-written emails it doesn't doesn't work for me because I also have to teach I have my my students uh, sometimes I'm sleeping sometimes I'm eating so all that kind of <laughs> stuff well, that thanks. takes our time right so uh, I have an agent who does this and to write a good email this is very good so it's not just a hey there my name is da 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 I want da 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 thank you see you this is not it of course, we're doing very, very personal, person, personalized emails uh, to everyone. So this is his job. He gets money from me every month, uh, some amount. And then from each concert, he got uh, another percentage. Uh, more people in our team. Yes? Promoter. Promoter, yes, yeah. 
Definitely. I have one. She's a wonderful girl. Like she's this kind of girls who has no barriers in front of her. She doesn't have any shame. Like, uh, or I won't call him. It's uh, Sunday, uh, 8 a.m. Ah, I'll call him. Uh, he didn't uh, respond me. He didn't pick up the phone. I'll call him again. And uh, well, I don't know if we could be friends with her, but yeah, she's doing her job very well. Uh, she and she creates these bridges with radios, with uh, TV, and if you see lots of programs on television, on radio. Uh, uh, the newspapers they are looking for something interesting because everything we we see we have on television it's all the same all the same so they would be happy to have somebody interesting coming to their program so they just want to to have this in front of them because the everybody um, that that's the easiest way so it's not that they are looking for someone physically. They are not going to, okay, let's see who can we invite. If you are famous enough, all right, let's invite this guy. If you're not famous enough, you have to go and knock the door. Here I am. I'm super cool. Look at me. Invite me. You want me. Um, this is about promotion. Uh, promotionist, PR manager, I call her. Uh, what else? Who else we can have in our team? The counter. Yeah. This is such a helpful guy. Um, I, I hate to count money with my musicians. Uh, I hate to this divide money after concerts. Like I would prefer that there is a person who does it. And no, like sense got him. Now I have this person. So he, uh, that's what you meant, right? All right, good. So he uh, does all this uh, dirty job. Just then, then he comes and gives us money, uh, and all this, uh, all the taxes that we have to pay after um, all other stuff we have to do is just just makes life easier. Absolutely, it's worth it. It was to pay just a little percentage to someone for doing your for making the life much more simple. I'm not sure that accountants in the U.S. would do both of those things, though. I think maybe it's a bookkeeper, but I'm not sure what the term yeah. or a tour manager. Yeah. Maybe. Right. But it, I mean, accountants in the U.S. Are, they do taxes. They do taxes. <laughs> okay. Basically, mostly, almost entirely. Yeah. But but there are, especially in the LA area, there are not even accountants, just like tax preparers. They're not CPAs, right? Certified public accountants, who specialize in working with freelance artists or um, or creatives or whatever, so that they know how to how you need to report your Spotify or or YouTube. Mm -hmm income or whatever or all your like many different w-2s because you're a freelancer and stuff like a w-2 is a um, income payment form for okay us. okay <laughs> so. it, this is so complicated for me yeah, yeah that's it's, why it's, I, I have it's bizarrely wondered. complicated in the u.s unlike any other country because of many different things mostly yeah <laughs> capitalism but <laughs> and corporations um, and their involvement in our government. <laughs> Everything. Let's uh, let's count. So we need an agent. Who was the next one? PR manager. PR manager. Counter. <laughs> Counter whatever that is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? Oh yes. <laughs> So, um, this is my hardest part. Like, uh, I'm not feeling myself very comfortable doing like stories or taking pictures. And uh, sometimes I just don't have time for that. Like, since I'm here, I 
I did almost no pictures. Like we we take some pictures when we are like, having lunch. That's it. I was like, hey, you having lunch? Well, and send it to my family. Huh? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> looking yes. forward to that. And Andrea. Andrea. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> So yeah, this is the hardest part. Or for me, psychologically, I cannot do stories. Like this is um, maybe I'm I'm like from Facebook generation. Uh, this is strange for me to talk to my phone. So I <laughs> rarely uh, do stories. And this is so cool when if you guys can do that because this really works. I see that it it creates engagements because uh, between you and your followers. But uh, like, yeah, for me it's hard. So I would love to have a person that I can just uh, send photos or that person can take photos of me. For some time, uh, my social media manager was my actual manager. So just a manager. Uh, this is a wonderful creation that decides so many things uh, that makes again life much more simple like okay sh should I play like last month uh, they invited me to play uh, on a private party uh, for president of Portugal and uh, I called to my manager because this party wasn't mm, organized by president part it was organized by uh, the party of, um, we call them fascists, <laughs> because oh, like, uh, yeah. they are not, like but right the right. things that, what they say, like, uh, for me, has no sense. I think, like, I'm not very politically um, educated, but every time I hear things they say, I'm like, really? Is this for real? So this uh, dinner was organized by this party. So I called my manager and said, uh, do you think I should go? They pay, oh, they pay so good. <laughs> oh, I love this money, money, money. No way, do you want really your image be there? Like they, because they say sometimes like uh, they are, they want to, uh, say they, they are con in front of, they want to cancel abortions. They uh, want less immigrants. So you are a woman. You are immigrant. Like, do you really want to play at this party? And like, yes. Like, so just call and say no. Say no. And yes, you're right. If if I think about that, take this money out because still, yeah, <laughs> self-respect. <laughs> yes, I didn't play in this party. And uh, these kind of things that what I should what I should send to this uh, agent now, like he asked me to control um, the uh, rider for for the next concert, and this takes so much time. I have to create rider. I have to create like a, a call to all my band. Do you need an amplifier? Okay, which okay cables? How many? All right. Do you bring your stuff? Do you, okay, then I call drummer. Do you need your drums? Okay. Do you? Oh, okay. Then I did, uh, call another piano player. So this takes time. So this is uh, ta da manager. He does this stuff for me. Um, and then maybe some more ideas for team. Yeah. Was that? My band, yes. My band. These are guys who sometimes when I feel like really down and feel like, oh, I'm tired, I'm tired. Uh, they say, no, no, we're going to do that. Don't worry. Like when we rehearse or when we record, sometimes I feel like it doesn't work. No, 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 it doesn't work like this. I wrote a bad song. This won't work. Like, Come on, <laughs> just go have some water and, and you're back band to have a good team around you it it's priceless really it's like family maybe some more ideas assistant, assistant. good what do you what do you mean um, all right like bring me water <laughs> 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 
That's me this week. Yeah, <laughs> the best assistant ever. <laughs> what assistant can do as well, more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all that things, assistant, perfect. I would love to have one. Uh, I have to think about that. Uh, also, I, I think that in this list we can include advisor, just an advisor. That could be, uh, honestly, it could be advisor. So it could be one of these persons if you really, um, trust on someone, someone's opinion. It could be a manager, but uh, I would love always to hear a few opinions. So for me, uh, advisor is it's just three friends of mine, the closest friends, my, my mom, my boyfriend, and my best friend. So these are my advisors. And sometimes like I, uh, maybe I want to do a post and like, okay, can you, can you just translate this text for me, please? Like, my mom, she speaks uh, Russian. Uh, my boyfriend, he speaks Portuguese. And sometimes in Portuguese, I can do mistakes. So I send text to him so he can, he can just uh, translate it better, way, put it in a, in a better way. The same does for my mom for me when I, because I have also a project of, uh, of songs in Russian for children. And we have this international project. So it, it, it started in Portugal. Uh, my friend, he writes songs. So he does the, all the production. And then he sends it to me. I translate it to Russian and just record it on the top of it. And we have our channel. And then we have this project also in Italian, uh, Japanese, uh, Spanish, uh, Brazilian version. And something else, I think. You know. So uh, these kind of things, I, uh, my advisors, help slash helpers slash um, best friends can do for me. Uh, and if we see uh, all that things, like we have all this uh, part of uh, of our team, we have all this social me media. Uh, channels and we have to besides this do our stuff so practicing and uh, enjoying life not forgetting uh, just living healthy life yeah good sleep good food healthy da -da -da -da, sports this kind of look like this so yeah it's just about managing your time what I do usually is like I, I wake up uh, usually very early like before a bit before seven, I don't know if it's very early for you. I used to do it like wake up later, <laughs> but now for me seven is like my maximum. So I wake up normally in the morning. I do some yoga exercises because I uh, sit during the day a lot because because of guitar. Uh, so I usually give five uh, classes per day, five hours or sometimes six. So it's uh, there's a lot to see, so my back hurts if I don't do yoga exercise uh, or any kind of exercise, I mean. Uh, so this is what I do in the morning, just uh, chill one hour, I do nothing, having my breakfast, then uh, responding emails, sending messages, all this, I, I prefer to do a boring stuff in the first uh, two hours in the morning, so because I still have this bigger energy. And uh, then I go to my morning practice, like practicing instrument. I start with, with uh, breathing exercises, uh, with guitar exercises, because as a guitar player and singer, I have to do both warm-ups. And then I go to my little studio, uh, which is very close to my place. This studio is in garage, actually. It's, um, but it was bought by one guy who works in television. So he, 
he did all the work for me before I did I exist. Uh, all the air conditioner, a little restroom, a little kitchen, and it, all these things in your uh, in one little garage. And it makes all sense for me to work outside. So when I work at home, like it seems to be very easy because I'm a musician. I can do all arrangements, do uh, all my practice at home uh, in front of my computer. Uh, but I always preferred like going somewhere. When I was studying in uh, musical college, I was always going there to practice. Though it was like hard because rooms is always like everybody wants this room. So I used to, the college was opening at uh, 8.30, so at 8 I was there. I'm like, oh, I'm the first, I want this key, yes. I, I prefer to practice outside. Uh, then then it, it goes this routine, but I have this uh, list of special things that I have to do. Like any day, whatever happens, I have to practice, I do a little uh, warm-ups for guitar, I have to learn something new, have to do warm-ups. This is the main things. Uh, and then if I can do something additional, like one of these 3,000 things, mm -hmm. then, uh, then I had a good day. <laughs> do you have any questions? All right. I, I'm just curious what the link um, site, the, your list of links, mm -hmm. what um, service is that? That you use uh, to make the list of links. Uh, on the, in Instagram, is I it? think I think it's uh, if you go to, for example, because we have Linktree and, and we've been using yes, Flow Linktree. page and stuff like that. But I just it didn't look like any of those, so I don't know. If yeah, it, this one, Musics. To let's let's see if this. Music. Oh, is that the. Yeah, music. Uh, okay. Exactly. So you sign up and you create this thing to to any kind of uh, social media or uh, digital platforms. Yeah, this one is only for music. I used to have another one like Linktree, mm -hmm. where where it was the bridge for for different things like right. to my side and things like that. Vic, I have a question. What, yep. what would what kind of advice would you give to our, our Capstone students who are uh, ready to go out. This is for many of them their last semester to go out in the professional world. Um, what, what, what do you recommend? That do you have any things that you could suggest that they they do that could help them in their careers? I would say that the first thing for for me as uh, when I finished my my studies was like, okay, uh, I have to go, I have to enter the professional world. Because it's not a secret that like, if, you, uh, if you're just alone, it's harder to find a job. But if you know certain circle of people who works in this area, uh, it's much easier because uh, it's not because uh, these people are doesn't want anybody else in, the, in their circle. It's just because uh, you are the first one who come to their head when they think about okay, we have this job, and you and ah, we we know this guitar player. Let's uh, let's call him because it's just the first thing that comes to your head, and then maybe you know somebody else. Oh, maybe I know, and then. Uh, just uh, too much work. So what I would say uh, is you have to find this circle of people and try to enter there. Like go to uh, the, all the events where you can meet people who are uh, in the same area as you. Uh, put, put hashtags in Instagram, <laughs> write hashtags. Um, uh, promote yourself with with videos, so it's better to start now because since it's last year for you, so you're gonna, you finish this summer, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the time to 
to work to create your portfolio, to create, to build your site now. So when you're out, you're ready to show everybody who are you and what you what you able to do to show to the world. And Nika, let me ask you a music question. Um, you've talked a lot in the last few days about jam sessions and stuff. And like, so for for our three music people, I'll just ask um, you know, uh, let's say for Sahun, for instance, right? He's going to mm -hmm. go back to South Korea. Um, so you. If we, uh, you're talking about networking, right? But uh, it sounded like for you, uh, when you first came to Portugal, you met a lot of people by going out to these musical jam sessions, yeah. right? And that's how you sort of got into this circle? Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. Because first, uh, when I came to Portugal, I didn't plan to stay there. It was just my, my short trip with the holidays, two weeks. Just, But I had my guitar with me. So I entered the one cafe. They was they were playing doing jam session, and I asked if I can if I can play with them. And they said, Yeah, of course, because that's what I feel when I come to any other country, and you are a musician. So you uh, uh, straight away you start you start being a part of family. So it's very easy being a musician. Uh, you don't have to know a language. When I moved to Portugal, I didn't know any word. In, in Portuguese, um, so I just I only knew one one phrase, "Dame uma garrafa de vinho, por favor," which means, "Can I have a, a glass of wine, please?" <laughs> that was the first phrase. <laughs> yeah, so I could survive, but uh, the rest I couldn't understand a word. But I was constantly going and going to to school. And then I understood that I understand everything because the musical language is very simple, right? We know all the notes, all the all the words are Italian. We know diminuendo, we know crescendo, we know accelerando, we know everything. This you just learn do re mi fa sol la si instead of your C D E F G A B, and and it gets easy. Everything is very easy in this musician's world. <laughs> But then, then it's another part about yeah about getting uh, getting a band and a job. Sahun so wanted to ask something. Yeah, um, yeah. So I had uh, some musical questions. So um, um, if I have some good song that recording well and also mixing and master is yeah everything's okay. Mm -hmm. So um, was it? Um, Well, no, it's not complicated because there are certain uh, distributors companies, like I use DistroKid. The most famous are DistroKid, like DistroKid. I use this one, but there is uh, another one which is good one, CD Baby. So these, uh, these distributions, they are, you pay them, Month, no, once, once a year, yeah. once a year. And it's not uh, very expensive, like maybe 20 bucks, something like this, for a year. Yeah. And then uh, they put your music everywhere, on all Spotify, uh, all, this, yeah, all the digital platforms. This is pretty easy. But be sure that you uh, registered your rights, because when you enter, you put your music out, uh, they ask you about your name, your all your contacts, because then when you uh, register your song, they give you a very special number. So no other song in this world has the same number as yours. That's how they will uh, be able to pay you for your song. So you put there your number, your bank account, everything, so you can be paid for that. Um, so um, is that For for license, yeah. no, uh, because they yeah. they just they just take your song, they, they distribute oh, okay. them. Yeah. yeah, they don't register your rights. Yeah. Uh, I uh, register my rights in the special um, department in Portugal, so it's called uh, artist rights <laughs> actually. Yeah, so I go there and say this is my new song. These are lyrics. These are chords. Uh, so, but 
you can make it online as well. Yeah, it's just, I like to go to places. Yeah, so for music, it's ASCAP or BMI. For, if you're producing, for you know, yeah, for, like if you're writing something, it's, uh, it's a little <laughs> different. I mean, you can do old school, like, sort of circumventing, like, mailing it to yourself so you have a, a defined, you know, sealed package that's dated officially. But um, I think it, it, it's often through um, through another agent or something like that. It's not something normally, you know, unless you're a playwright or, um, or whatnot, um, that, that you secure individual copyrights on stuff, but you can just send this thing to their copyright office, the U.S. Copyright Office. Mm -hmm. um, it's just not normally how things work, so. Well, yeah. it's different than music, and, and there, are the, there isn't like a company that does it. Um, okay. But then it's also like, if you're producing content for social media, that's a whole different thing, because, um, I mean, if it's music, that's protected. If you're just creating content, it's, it, I mean, you know. Content is for everybody. It's for everybody. It's it's open, or, or it actually belongs to the social media site. Yeah. Like, you're basically giving it to them to distribute. Um, and, and they have, they have a lot of control over it, depending on which site it is, mm -hmm. right? Um, yes, yeah, yeah, so I would say, I, I don't know, uh, South Korea, but in, in the U.S. there's publishing companies. So, Jonas, are you part of ASCAP or BMI? ASCAP. Yeah, I'm an I'm an ASCAP. The, the two biggest ones are ASCAP and BMI, and then there's CSAP. But what you want to do is join one of those publishing companies, right? And then when you write a new piece, you, know, you write some new music, you, you, you want to protect that, right? So if someone tries to use your music and not pay you for it, you know, so so that, that's what you want. to you're not a member of any of those publishing companies. Or you can uh, find this, uh, this kind of company in, in Japan because it's just maybe easier for you yeah. to, and you do it online. Because I did it in Portugal, but it's always worldwide. So yeah. they, they, they can register your rights on nobody from any other country can grab your song. Well, theoretically. There are some countries that don't. Well, yeah. <laughs> sure, they don't, yeah. Participate as. Yeah, sure. Other questions for Mika? Yes. Hello, um, What's your process for writing a song? What's your inspiration? What do you look for writing a song? Mm -hmm. Well, when I'm. Uh, Sometimes I just come up with some idea, or I hear some somebody says uh, some phrase, and then it comes to my head like it makes sense for me. It may have no sense for any other person in this world, but it makes sense for me. Like, um, for example, yesterday I cried, and it may be. Maybe I was in uh, just walking in the street, and then some person passed by me and, and was saying to uh, his friend, like, yesterday I cried. And it makes all sense for me. And then I make the whole song out, out of this. Or uh, sometimes I just uh, start learning something. This comes to me very often, because when I learn something new on a guitar, uh, I always try to dedicate a little bit of time to search for for new for new things like maybe new chord shapes, uh, new scales positions, new something something. So sometimes I describe like, oh wow, this chord is amazing, and uh, and it comes from there. Uh, I want to uh, to write song with this chord. This gives me some emotion. Or sometimes what happen is. I'm just so emotional, I'm getting so emotional with something that I think about how, how can I describe this? 
And of course, if it's like, uh, oh, I'm so happy to be here today, uh, maybe this is not the best way for me because I don't like to be like very straight, like, oh, I'm happy I'm here. Um, maybe I would come up with some other phrase like, uh, oh, what a day, what a day. Maybe something like this. So an inspiration, uh, I'll give you one more example. Like uh, yesterday, I uh, went for for uh, sleep <laughs> for a house of uh, Guan Fan, Professor Guan Fan. If you know her, maybe you have classes with her. I don't know. So, uh, and she has a window, and it's a very very pretty w window. It's just. I, I would sit there for hours and hours. So uh, I was inspired by this window. And maybe some other day, I wouldn't even notice this window. But in this day, I noticed it. So that's that how it comes. And I noticed that all the inspiration that I got comes from me. Not, I'm not getting inspiration from someone. but. Uh, I just find it inside me. If you look a bit deeper inside you, it's all there. And just to uh, see better, but it's there. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah. Good question, yes. Um, she has another question. Sorry. Yes? Yeah. If it, sorry, can you repeat the second part of the Something. Um, of Liga or uh, both Liga and the Lee brothers. Okay. Can we give Liga a nice warm? Yeah. Uh, Thank you, guys. Thank you.